Hey, it's Tom Gallagher, the video paneur, and today we're looking at a 2021 Range Rover HSE Westminster. Here we go. So this Rover is featured in Santorini black exterior with an ebony interior and is offered by Land Rover of St. Louis, Missouri with a sticker price of 108 245 Here we can see the premium LED headlamps, front fog lights, signature daytime running lights. We have rain sensing wipers. As we slide down the driver's side of the vehicle, you can see this vehicle has the Atlas exterior accents and we'll show more of that closer. For additional information or to arrange a test drive, contact Chris, his contact information is listed below. Here we get a good look at the 21 inch alloy wheels wrapped with 275-45 WR21 inch tires. Here we can see the body colored side mirror and I'll show that more detail on the other side. We do have a panoramic moonroof shark fin antenna, rear aerodynamic spoiler, LED tail lights. We have hill launch, low traction launch. Here we can see the Land Rover, the Range Rover, and the HSE P400 badging on the back. Here's the rear aerodynamic spoiler, and again, the shark fin antenna. As we pull away from the back, you can see the LED tail lights. Here's a really nice look at the Atlas exterior uh, accents on this vehicle. Love the way it swoops down on the bottom of the, or the front door and then across the bottom of the front and rear and then the uh, quarter panel. Really an attractive look as we get another look at the 21 inch wheels and tires. We have auto dimming power heated with memory door mirrors, perimeter approach lights, electronic traction control, dynamic stability control, roll stability control, and trailer stability assist. As we dive into the interior, you can see the outboard seats are power. They also are heated and vented, and we'll show the power function here in a moment as I pull down the center armrest. You can see the cup holders, and it's a nice beefy armrest, so uh, you don't have to worry about uh, you know, some chintzy armrest. Uh, four zone climate control as I adjust the fan and turn it down. You can hear it's kind of loud, but uh, turn that down a bit. And again, I'll show that more detail here in a moment as I just uh, pan around the and over the back seat into the cargo area. I'll show the cargo area in detail. As we look over the front seats to the dash, we pull out of the back seat. So the um, back seat is listed as a 60-40 split fold down. I actually think it's a 40-20-40. Uh, and when I show you the back, I'll, I'll, I'll show you why I think that. And uh, all weather floor mats, as you see right there. The steering wheel is a heated leather wood trim steering wheel. And I'll show you that. We can also see the panoramic moonroof with the power sunshade. We'll see the functionality of that in a moment. Fingertip controls on the steering wheel. It is a power tilt telescoping. You can see the knob there for the controller. One touch up and down windows. Hey, a little BSing with the videopreneur in the back of an HSE. Plenty of room, plenty of luxury. Let me show you around. So I believe I said a 40-20-40 split fold down. It's actually a 40-20-40 split uh, seat. The, I'm sorry, the, uh, the label indicates it's a 60-40, but I'll show you that in the back. You can see the, the outboard seats are heated and vented. Again, four-zone four climate control. We have two 110 outlets here for your electronic contrivance. You can plug it in right there as well as universal plugins. And there's a hook on the back of the passenger seat and a hang up hook for a jacket on the back of the driver's seat. So here's a little view from the other side, your additional power ports. Then in the center is a uh, commercial or residential rather 
uh, plug-in, just like what you have at your home. So if uh, one of the electronic contrivances that you have, you need to plug in and it has a regular cord, maybe a laptop or something like that, or a video game. You can see the sport pedals. They are metal trimmed sport pedals. There's a look at that hook as well. And then here is the power functionality of the reclining seat. Very responsive and very, very comfortable. Again, heated and vented seats. So all four outboard seats are heated and vented. It is a five passenger vehicle. As I tilt back and show you the panoramic moonroof, the beautiful sky and the white billowing clouds. We'll show the, the uh, entertainment in a moment. One touch up and down windows, power heated with memory side mirrors. There's the sport pedals that I had mentioned. Leather throughout. We have heads up display, par uh, park pack, which is a 360 parking aid, rear traffic monitor. Keyless entry with push button start. It also has the in control remote, which is your remote start. Soft close doors, meaning you uh, close it. And if it's uh, not completely closed, the motor will pull it in tight. Here you can see the one touch up and down windows, your instrument cluster, traffic sign recognition, fingertip controls on your steering wheel. This is a 10 inch PIVI Pro connected in control navigation with Pro Touch screen. Meridian sound system with 825 watts, backup camera with dynamic grid lines, as well as your 360 surround camera. So, this is really, a, I like this, the 360 camera. You can navigate around the vehicle and get a clear look at uh, your surroundings, has navigation as well. The flicker is because it's uh, shot in video. If it was uh, old school film, you wouldn't see that flicker. In case you didn't know or cared. We have a center console with a refrigerated compartment. I'll show you that in a moment. Here's your drive mode as I punch through that. So the drive mode shows up on the center stack screen as well as on your instrument cluster. We have blind spot assist, closing vehicle sensing, adaptive cruise control with stop and go, high speed emergency braking, traffic sign recognition that I mentioned earlier, adaptive speed limiter, terrain response two system with selectable drive and off-road mo modes as I'm showing here. Dual zone climate control up front, so two in the front, two in the back. Nice weight to the key fob. Hidden compartment under your cup holders. Can't say that it's a secret compartment because the secret's out. That's the refrigerated compartment, and it really gets chilly when you first touch that the first time you ever experience it. It kind of scares you. Uh, upper and lower deck on the glove box. So you have two, two uh, glove boxes. Heated windscreen. Here is the functionality of your power sun uh, screen. You can see how responsive it is. Lane keeping assist, driver condition monitor. I mentioned the Meridian sound system with 825 watts. I did not mention 19 speakers. We also have memory settings for passenger seat. So you have the controls and you can also use your memory settings. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and a power tilt telescoping steering wheel, steering column as I pan across the dash one more time just to show you all the goodies. So as far as your cargo area is concerned, 32 cubic feet of storage. You can see the power 
tailgate. It is a power gesture tailgate. So as I was saying, we have 32 cubic feet of storage, 69 with the seats folded down. We have a lower power tailgate. There's the uh, controls for your seats. We have carpeted floor mats. Uh, so we have the rubberized floor mats in the area of the vehicle. And then in the back, we have the carpeted. We have additional power port. You can see the rubberized all weather floor mat for the rear cargo area. Uh, privacy, sunshade, first aid kit, wheel protection pack, air suspension with automatic access and adaptive dynamics as I button up the uh, back of the vehicle. And we get a three quarter shot from the back of the vehicle. As far as your engine is concerned, I'll put up the uh, vital statistics here. It is a 3.0 inline six. You can see the horsepower, the torque, eight speed, all wheel drive with twin speed transfer box, 18 city, 23 highway. Thank you again for watching. Please give us a thumbs up, leave a comment.